Hello friends, today we are going to continue chapter number 3 that is Cultural Heritage of India, Scripture and Architecture of Lecture number 11. Friends, in this chapter we have discussed, discussed about the meaning of Scripture and Architecture work. We understood about its importance. Friends, we also discussed about the ancient town planning how systematic and properly town planning was made in ancient India in sculpture and architectural point of view. We have found several remains that proved these are the evidences that proves the excellent skill in sculpture and architecture work. We discussed about the ancient town how the town was fortified, how it was divided into three sections. It was particularly made for a particular sections of people. For topmost part was for the citadel of the rulers, that is the fort of the rulers. Uppermost part was for the administrative officer of the rulers. And the lower part was for the common people. The roads were made in such a way that number of vehicles can pass at a time. Such systematic planning was made in ancient India. We also learned about Mohanjadaro and its town planning, in which we discussed about the houses of Mohanjadaro, roads of Mohanjadaro, drainage system, public building, and public bath of Mohanjadaro, in which we experienced the excellent skill of sculpture and architecture work of ancient India. Friends, we discussed about the ancient civilizations of Dholavira, Lothal and Harappa. We understood about stupa. That what is stupas? We discussed about the various stupas. We discussed about the various part of stupas like Harmida, Har, Harmika, Medhi, Pradakshinapath, Toran. Same way, we discussed about the stone inscription and the pillar inscription work since ancient India. We discussed about the excellent work of Sarnath, which has given fame to India worldwide. Friends, we discussed about the temple architecture work. We discussed about the famous temples of India as well as the chariot temples. We discussed about the various parts of temples in which we discussed about Gopuram about Garbhru, Shikhar, Viman. Friends, after discussing about the various parts of temples, we discussed in our previous lecture about the Jain temples of India. We discussed about the Delwada temple. We also discussed about the Sun temple of Modena, in which we discussed that it is situated in the Masaran district of Gujarat. A gem is studied in the crown of Sun God. The entrance gate is constructed on the eastern side in such a way that the sun rays directly fall on the gem that is studied in the crown, which enlightens the whole sanctum, due to which it creates a divine atmosphere. There are total 108 small temples surrounding the tank, which gives a very divine atmosphere at the time of dawn and dusk. Friends, today we are going to learn about the topic that we are going to cover that is about the medieval architecture. Let us understand about the medieval architecture. Now, learning about The medieval architecture of India. Friends, when we are discussing about the medieval architecture of India, several mosques, minarets, several mosques. Minerals, 
रॉयल पैलेसिस इंस रॉयल पैलेसिस इंस ब्रिजिस टॉम्स एक्सेट्रा ब्रिजिस टॉम्स एक्सेट्रा वेर constructed in medieval age these all things were constructed in medieval age some of them are discussed below let us discuss about सम ऑफ दैट फर्स्ट आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ कुत लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट कुतुब दिन आईबा architecture of qutubuddin aibar he was a turkish ruler that means qutubuddin aibar was a turkish ruler he was a turkish ruler he be qutubina he be कुतुब मीनार एंड ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो ही बिल कुत उल इस्लाम मॉस्क ही ऑल्सो बिल कुत उल इस्लाम मॉस्क ही ऑल्सो बिल He also built a mosque called that is a day din ka jopra. A day din ka jopra. He also built a mosque called a day din ka jopra. That is in Ajmer. That is located in. अजमेर देन सेकंड देर इज आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ बंगाल रिजन आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ बंगाल रिजन द फेमस Adina Mosque the famous Adina Mosque at Pandwa region of Bengal that is at Pandwa region of Bengal tomb of also the tomb of jalalul muhammad shah also the tomb of jalalul muhammad shah and tanti para mosque and also tardipara mosque where constructed in bengal region friends here in the architecture of bengal region 
we can see the famous Adina Mosque at Pandua region of Bengal, the top of Jalalud Mohammad Shah and Tantipura Mosque were constructed in the Bengal region. Now, number three, architecture of Jaunpur region, architecture of Jaunpur region. Sultans of Turkey, Sultans of Turkey built the Atala Mosque. Sultan of Turkey, they built the Atala Mosque. There is a beautiful art, artistic tree. There is a beautiful artistic tree around the domes of the mosque. There is very artistic tree around the domes of the mosque. The walls and the ceilings of this mosque, if we talk about the walls and the ceilings of this mosque, are decorated with many Indian designs are decorated with many Indian designs including the design of lotus including the design of lotus then number 4 architecture of Malwa region architecture of Malwa region many tombs were built in Malwa region many tombs were built in Malwa region. The domes here, we can say the domes and carvings on balcony and carvings on balcony of these structures are quite impressive. They are quite impressive and attractive you can see. Quite impressive and attractive. The tomb of Hoshansa, the tomb of Hoshansa is made of marble. The tomb of Hoshansa is made of marble in Indian style. That was made in Indian style. And number three, let us understand about the other provinces. If we talk about the other provinces, 
the rulers of Kashmir and and Banami. The rulers of Kashmir and Banami. Banami. They built several. They had built several buildings at Bidar, at Bidar, and Gulbarga, and also Gulbarga. Fourth, 
मक्सुरा फोर्थ दैट इज मक्सुरा एंड ऑफ द मोस्ट फॉल इज नोन एज मक्सुरा द एंड ऑफ द मोस्ट फॉल इज नोन एज मक्सुरा इट इज separated by a railing it is separated by a railing then number 5 moharam another is moharam the interior part of the most wall the interior part of the most wall which is of human height which is of human height and indicates correct direction of makkah and indicates the correct direction of makkah is known as as mahra it is known as mahra in india it is generally in the west direction it is generally in the west direction sixth and the last one that is saham if we talk about saham the campus here the campus of the mosque the campus of the mosque where the followers of islam get islam get together to pray they get together to pray is known as saha it is known as saha so friends this was the information about the structure of mosque so friends with this we complete the third chapter that is the uh, cultural heritage of india sculpture and architecture work hope so friends you might have understood this chapter we will start the new chapter from our next lecture thank you